Good day everyone. Welcome to my third Tuesday night overrated movie reviews. This review is on the 2018 Netflix original movie Annihilation. It is directed by Eric Garland, writer Eric Garland, Jeff Mandamir. And starring Naomi Portman as Lena, Benedict Wong as Lamox, Son Amawa as Miss Zona, as Humala and Katie, David Garcia as Daniel, o Oscar Ice as Kane, John Schwab as Paramedic, Jen Je Jennifer Jason Leigh as Dr. Ventrist. Gina Rodriguez get Anyot Paul in Hino. She's Jeffrey No Tuni as Kay Shepard. Trigger Tomic as Josie Reddick. Sammy Hammond as Mayor. Josh Danford as Shari. Christina Gaiti as Lena Double. The plot of this film is. A biologist and former soldier joined a mission to uncover what happened to our husband inside. Eric, a sinister and mysterious phenomenon expanding across the American coastline. Once his own, the expedition discovered a world of mutant landscapes and creatures as dangerous and as beautiful. They're threatening both their lives and their sanity. Well, take a look at previous reviews. I'll talk about likes, disappointment, and dislikes. Well, there is a like in this review, so start off with the, the directing. Eric Gallard did a good job, as well with the writing. The cast from everyone in this film is actually quite good, particularly in that reportment. I found she stole the role, the movie sorry, and her role. I thought she was actually quite good in this film. Some of the minor characters, you know, other Americans in the exhibition, such as Jennifer Jason Lee, Gina Rodriguez, so for Nova Tooney, Tracy Thomas, we got a good job in their roles. Oscar, 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 Oscar did a good job as Kane as well. And this, and this film had some good goal when it happened. Well, well done. You know, it's, um, yeah, they um, found that the, folk, the goal effects in the film done quite well. And it's not many in this film. I was expecting a lot more. And yet, the special effects are not bad either. So, the movie focuses on a lot of special effects and CGI. And the, um, yeah, the, I would call it a chase shifting alien or or she called it, you know, to um, try to copy her. That later on. Now, with a disappointment. The story is all over the place. A lot of the time, you're trying to figure out what's going on. Movie starts off. It's quite weird. She's talking to the, to the, um, Burn the one character, talk about something, and it turned about turned out to be the events throughout the movie. It basically spoiled the movie for me. From the start go, I think in come on, what is this? Can I like, like you know save this scene to the end of the movie? Not talking about deaths. I'm thinking Get lost. 
This one made me annoyed about this film and why I find this movie overrated. This is a particular story. And I mean, there's a lot of um, dream se sequences I thought I could have easily removed from the film. And I thought it had nothing to do with the film. Particularly with the um, David Gray Ashley character Daniel, you know? They seem to have easily been removed. So some sex scenes, you know? She has something, man. Pointless scenes. And there's a lot of it. Like all those dream sequences. The ones that are hosting right? But, ah, uh, jeez, Christ. Uh, this film, it's could have been so much better. So much better. I mean, it's not the film I thought it would have been. And I mean, the characters, you know, get picked up one by one. First one is interesting, because you don't see it. Second one is cool. I mentioned earlier that it looks not as cool effect. This one of the team members, Gino Rodriguez's character, and your torn in the skin. Oh, sorry, I can't pronounce it. You know, she's got ripped to pieces by the so called mutant bear. Pretty cool. You know, it's just basically the same creature that they killed the um the Cash Shepherd character who was played by um Toofy Von Tini. Oh <laughs> no name can't pronounce sorry. And it's so predictable. This movie and the end the arc act it's actually what actually ruined the movie for me. I thought it, it just gone weirder and more weirder. I mean, she can't, they, they had to find this lighthouse, which is, the, you know, the cause of this phenomenon. You know, the side movies, you would see uh, this asteroid hit this lighthouse, causing, causing everything, causing the shimmer. The shimmer is the thing they had to go into to, to explore. To find to find this lighthouse, that's right. Find this lighthouse, and on the way, and they come across all these different type of scenarios and stuff. Look good, but they what they're searching for me is to get the end of the movie. Yeah, they go into the lighthouse to find the um the psychiatrist, Doctor Fintech, played by James General James Lee. You know. She'll get a good job in this film, you know, and what happened to her is just weird. I mean, she's just like, I don't know what the heck happened to her. I mean, she came part of something. And then came across this alien, which is the core of everything. The alien just wanted to change everything. And wanted to make a double of um, Lena. With the quarter, you know, the Lena double. Queen uh, Christina got Mac got Gaiety. You know? It's weird. I mean, how how it's a double is because that report me looking at herself. Because it's our and more, you know, mirror to. The Owen wanted to kill more is kill her take her appearance and go back to the real world like an alien did with her husband I said I said Kane no he returns you think I did okay he managed to come out of Kane turned out no he's one of those aliens who changed his appearance and and it's not him because in like act we find out that he Use some use these grenades that more like burn his corpse to so the airline could go and take his form and yeah to go back to his wife and so on so on. This, this another alien tried to mirror Lena like I just mentioned and of course 
she could want to put the flash grenade in there on her own hand and she on that hand. They were in dogs. Burning the, the, the light out again, burning everything, all the trees and everything around it. Yeah, this movie, John, very elevated. 88% on automatic, 70% on Metacritic. I agree with the, um, the audience score. 69 on all, on Metacritic, as well as um, Rotten Tomatoes and in the, in, in the database. Here's that when it comes to my little score this film. I give it a 7 out of 10.